Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen my face before, I'm Olivia. And as you see behind me, I am a fragrance enthusiast, collector, whatever you wanna call me. So if that's your sort of thing, make sure that you subscribe. And if you are a returning friend, welcome back guys. I'm very excited because I'm actually going to start something new today. There are a couple other channels that already do this and I really enjoy to watch these videos. So today I am going to be making a perfume tray. So I am going going to set up some fragrances that I am really excited to wear. It's getting a little bit warmer in California and I say that with a concern in my voice because we just had a winter storm and we got snow in California. So I am going to be drawing not quite on my spring fragrances just yet. I'm going to try to find some good transitional fragrances. So if you are into that sort of thing, again, make sure you subscribe. And without further ado, let's get started on the video. Oh, and side note, I realized that I totally breezed past the fact that I have no hair. So this is my new haircut. Some of you have already seen me on Instagram and TikTok with this look, but some of you are just on my YouTube. And I just decided that I was sick of hair, so I shaved it off. And what do you guys think? Leave me a little comment down below. Do you prefer hair or no hair? All right, guys, enough talking. Let's get into the video. Okay, friends, so this is my little tray area, but obviously it's kind of filthy right now. So I am going to clear this off and then we'll get started. So the first fragrance that I will be adding is Dirty Coconut. I feel like this is gonna be a really good transitional fragrance because it's not like a sweet beachy coconut, but it really lives up to the name of having some earthy facets to it that I think will be really good for the weather. It's still kind of trying to warm up, but we're not quite there yet, so we're gonna try this out. Next, I will be adding this new one to my collection. This is called Dirty Rice. And this is a brand new brand, Born to Stand Out. This is a really interesting fragrance. It's got matcha, it's got milk, some rice notes. So we are going to add this because I think this will be really, really nice in the colder weather. Next up on the tray is Rose 31. Now I've worn this a couple times, but I'd like to give her a little extra love. This is a spicy natural rose. I don't feel like it leans too vintage in my opinion, but it's got the note of cumin, which gives it a body odor type quality. So it kind of smells like nether regions, but I like it. So I'm gonna put it on the tray. Before it gets too warm, I want to get this on my tray. This is Sandal Sun, and this is by Hermetica. Now, apparently their fragrances are made without alcohol, so they're more skin safe. And this is a fluffy, powdery almond sandalwood. It kind of smells like a warm hug. It's very cozy. Kind of reminds me of rainy days, which we've had quite a few cold, blistery days here lately. So I, before it gets too warm, I'm going to put this on the tray as well. Next is Bianca by Perlinera. Now this smells like Carolina Herrera Good Girl if it was like ultra, ultra powerful, ultra smooth. I find the original to be a little bit scratchy, a slight bit synthetic, but albeit it is a very sexy fragrance. So if I go out on a date night, I'm gonna put this on the tray because it is that very sweet, sumptuous, dark, sexy floral with a little gourmand touch to it. It is so beautiful. So next is Navitus Ray's Spirits. Now, I've seen a lot of reviews on this fragrance and I have to be honest, this was described as like a fudge accord, tobacco, vanilla, that it's a gourmand, but very dark and sumptuous. And this has pimento and all I can smell is pimento. So I'm hoping that if this macerates for a little bit of time, I might be able to smell some of that in there. But to me, I'm getting a really sharp, it almost reads as like cassis or something very green, spicy, bitter, sharp. So this one, I'm 
I'm honestly thinking about getting rid of it, so I'm going to put it on my tray to give it a really proper shot. Now you guys know how much I love my tea fragrances, so I'm going to put Dear Polly onto the tray because I feel like this one kind of reminds me of rainy days as well. It's a little bit citrusy, but it's a little bit smoky, a little bit earthy, and I'm not sure because of the spices in this how warm of weather I'd be able to wear this in. So while it's still a little bit cold, I wanna get her on the tray. Next, I will be putting Mural by Matin Martin. Sorry about my pronunciation for that. So this smells a lot like YSL Lieb Intense. It doesn't have the note of lavender, which is great because for me, I really don't care for lavender, but it has all of the other components. It has that really strong vanilla, a woody quality to it, and it's very rich. I feel like, again, it's not going to be suitable once it's hot out, just because it is a thicker fragrance, but I'm really excited to give this some love. I've only tested this. I haven't got a proper day's wear out of it. So look how like beautiful these bottles are too. Next is going to be Opus by Amlage. I've talked a little bit about this, but again, this is newer to my collection. This is a very dry, woody fragrance with some nuances of leather. I'm not sure off the top of my head if it's an oud, but it definitely comes off like that. It's a bit animalic. It is a little bit masculine leaning, but it's pretty fresh. It doesn't feel too heavy or too spiced or too thick. So I think this could be a really staple woody fragrance if you're into those sort of fragrances. And just as a palette cleanser, I will be putting Pure Extreme by Mikalef because this is an everyday fresh, musky, powdery floral fragrance. It smells like clean shower. Obviously I haven't got the biggest dent in it, but I feel like I have almost avoided this one because I know once I start, I will want to wear this every day because it is just a beautiful, signature, clean, everyday type fragrance. And I feel like I've got a lot of like thick, you know, a little bit heavier ones over here. So I want to make sure that I have something that's a little bit light to pull from. So I'm gonna put that on the tray. Okay, so now I'm going to rearrange these a little bit so that way they're a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. From short to tall bottles, I want to rearrange it a little bit, so give me one second. Okay, so I've got everything a little bit more aesthetically arranged. I'm only going to focus on I don't want to overwhelm myself because I know that I get a lot of boxes in the mail and sometimes I have to try them right away. So for the month of March, I am going to be focusing on these 10. So do you see any favorites of yours or anything that you're interested in trying? So that's it for today. I hope you guys like these little shorter videos. I really enjoy watching what people are trying to focus on for the month to get a little bit more familiar with their collection, get a little bit more of a well-rounded idea of the fragrances, because at least I know, as a reviewer, it can be a little bit difficult because on a weekly basis, I'm being sent bottles and bottles and bottles, and I just simply cannot dedicate weeks and weeks to learning about a fragrance. I will try it, I will take notes, I will note the longevity, the performance, but, Fragrances change over time, and I wanna get really familiar with my collection so that way I can give you guys an in-depth review at the end of the month to tell you what I thought and, and if my thoughts changed during that time. So if you guys are excited for the end of the month wrap up, let me know which fragrance you are most excited to hear about. Again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed today. And if you are a returning friend, I'm always so grateful for you guys. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. I'm like so mind blown. It takes a really long time to grow on YouTube, or at least for me, in my personal experience. I know some people blow up overnight and that's amazing, but it's been a journey, so I am so lucky to have every single one of you here. I post videos every Saturday, 10 a.m. PST, so if you would like to be notified, make sure that you guys hit the bell icon so that way you get a notification every time I post. 
Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next Saturday.